Hey guys, Teddy's on Schizophrenia and Red Flags Part 2. Schizophrenia and Red Flags Part 2. But before we get to Part 2, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I'm no spring chicken. I'm not a spring chicken. I don't cluck. I'm not a, I'm not a spring chicken. I'm not. And I've been around a few preludes in my years. I'm telling you, this kid's got something that's particularly luxurious. Kind of like a uh, Dr. Pepper. Hello there, my this name is, book is Robert two, Francis, the companion... you still on my own Yo. schizophrenia YouTube channel, companion. where me and the bird, that's right, that's right, we talk schizophrenia. No bird, just a book. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Companion. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with be schizophrenia for a score five and one, goes into and a that puts cover. a little gray fleck in my beard. Maybe not, though. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. topic, to topic. topic. Schizophrenia and red flags. For me, red flags, for my own self, red flags are not symptoms. I could care less about symptoms. The red flags uh, are acting erratically. And for me, that's the bottom line. Despite the cognitive turmoil, I do a test. We do have behavioral recourse. We have behavioral. We have recourse in the in the behavioral realm, and again, the red flag is when we act outside of the rational social context. Well, that's when the red flags go up for other people towards us. So, if we don't want to raise red flags for others, uh, we have to fake it till we make it. Who cares about the symptoms? Fake it till you make it. Find the behavioral groove. Find a behavioral groove. A groove, a groovy behavioral groove where you don't act outside of the rational social context. Of course, it's kind of a uh, permeable boundary, but you know what I mean. You know, if somebody says, hey, how you doing? You don't say, hey, I didn't have the Fruit Loops for breakfast. Why are you asking? That's outside the rational social context. So for me, the red flags are not so much symptoms. It's uh, acting outside of a, an accordance in the behavioral groove. If you stay in the behavioral groove, then the symptoms won't matter so much. I mean, they may not be fun, and it might be a little bit of a challenge to uh, manage uh, cognitively, but again, we have the behavioral recourse. And when the behavioral recourse falls apart, then that's the true red flag, in my opinion, Dr. Pepper, it's a very fine uh, soft drink. A very fine soft drink. <laughs> it's not uh, It's not the customary one. Usually, you know, Coke, 7 up. But uh, every once in a while, boy, a Dr. Pepper hits the spot, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to find my behavioral groove. I'm going to try to do my best to stay in the behavioral groove. And uh, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.